Now I'm going to plant my Three Sisters Garden today. Uh, Three Sisters Garden uh, originated with the Native Americans. They were, um, it's basically a, a guild of plants that you plant together with uh, corn, beans, and squash. Um, basically the uh, beans help to fix nitrogen for the corn and, the, uh, and then uh, the corn helps uh, the beans by allowing a natural trellis for it to hang on to. And the squash provides a nice ground cover for the uh, beans and the corn, help to keep moisture in and help to keep the pests away from them. Uh, and also the corn will help to provide a little bit of shade for the squash, which that's something that the squash plant likes, a little bit of dappled shade. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I have these white flags and then I also have these uh, silver flags and they're placed about two feet apart and uh, each block is uh, now the, the, the blocks with the white flags are going to be my corn and beans now the blocks with the silver flags are going to be my um, squash now I'm going to use a different um, member of the cucurbit family I'm going to use cucumbers but this would be where you do your squash um, so I've already pulled my mulch back as you can see um, so I'll actually have to make a hill for my cucumbers um, for the corn and beans I'm just going to drill right in right through the mulch and uh, just drop the seed in so there'll be no disturbing of the soil uh, so the first thing let's deal with the corn and beans now my uh, garden hoe just happens to be uh, almost exactly a foot so what you want to do is you get your I want to be a little closer to my irrigation line. So, and I have a uh, just an old screwdriver that I put some tape on that has an inch depth. So I'm going to plant everything at about maybe a little bit more than an inch. So I'll make my holes for my corn a foot apart, and then I'm going to make an X. So we'll have another drill here for corn, and then we'll have another drill here for corn. Now, I lost that one. Okay, so I have another drill here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we got our four drills for, for the corn. Now what we want to do now is we'll fill out the box. So we got a drill here. This will be for, for beans. Another drill here. That'll be for beans. Another drill here. That'll feed beans. And another drill right here. That'll be beans. So the beans are all, you know, they're all uh, a foot apart from each other, six inches apart from the actual corn. Um, so we'll go ahead and get the corn seed. Now this is corn that I saved from last year, yellow corn. Um, so it should be pretty good as far as adapted to my soil and climate and all that good stuff. So there's the corn. And I'll push, sometimes I'll push the corn seed in if I didn't, just to make sure that it gets in there nice and, nice and good. Okay, so we got our corn. Corn seeds planted. Now we'll take the wax beans, or I'm sorry, the pole beans. You're gonna to want to use pole beans for these because uh, it gives it. Uh, you want the ones that want that need a trellis. So just put these on the corners. Pretty easy. Get them planted. Okay. So we, sh so you end up with uh, four corn seeds and four wax bean seeds planted there. Oh, I'm sorry, pole bean seeds. I'm used to planting wax beans. So it's one of my yellow wax beans are my favorite bean type. But pole beans is what you'd want to put in. Um, now we'll want to make our. Now the next two feet apart, next block, we're going to be using our uh, cucumbers. So we're going to need to make a, uh, a hill for the cucumbers. Now the cucurbit family, they like the, 
they like the hills because now they like water but they don't like to, their roots to sit in the water so that's why they like to it's one of the reasons why they like to grow on a hill the other reason is that they like the heat so if, if they sit up high it's kind of like a microclimate for them so two scoops is usually plenty I'll form my hill now ultimately you're just going to want three vines coming off of your hill now I'm going to go ahead and plant six just because I want to thin them out and determine which ones are the are the strong and sometimes you have seed that just doesn't come up you know it happens so it's it's better to plant enough of them I'll just make some drills that's actually more than six but no big deal I'll fix that okay now we have our cucumber seed now I'm using a, a variety called uh, sweet apple which makes a it's actually a, I'm sorry crystal apple it's a sweet cucumber that uh, actually is shaped like a green apple so that'll be cool this is the first time first year for this one this variety so I'm looking forward to this kind uh, your pickling cucumbers you know obviously are for pickling for pickling and and a lot of times they can be kind of bitter if you're trying to use them for salad and whatnot but uh, it's four do one here one here okay Cover them up. Add the soil, and then the uh, final thing we want to do is a lot of my mulch has already started to decompose, so I don't really have much as much of a mulch layer as I had earlier in the season. But that's good. By the time the season's over, mulch will be more end up being more compost for my garden. But I'll try and push as much of my mulch back over as I can to try and inhibit the weeds. And that's it. That's how you do a three sisters garden. Pretty simple. Um, I would highly suggest, you know, trying to use the, this polyculture technique. It'll help to uh, um, allow your plants to help each other. I wanted to go ahead and get a, uh, a closer version so you can see the three sisters garden, how I spaced it. Um, basically, what I did was I did them in two foot blocks. So you've got a two foot block. So I'll have my two foot block of um, squash or I use cucumbers but traditionally it's squash and typically you're supposed to put three three plants so I've got my three silver flags showing where I put my cucumbers now I actually planted six because I'm gonna pinch them out but you can do you can certainly just do three um, and then a foot away so the middle of your block is two feet away from the the next block over um, I've got my corn which is basically spaced a foot apart, kind of like in a, in like a cross. I've got corn here, corn here, corn here, corn here, and they're each a foot across from each other. Now, then to finish out the block, you've got, you've got your beans, your pole beans. So you've got in, beans here on the corners, and they're each um, six inches apart. So you end up with your, um, so you end up with a nice box where um, each plant is six inches apart. Uh, and then the, the like varieties are essentially a foot apart. Um, that's pretty much it for the Three Sisters Garden.